Hello there, it's Carrie Rhodes here. Welcome back to the Trinity Stamps YouTube channel. Today I'm excited to be sharing with you one of our brand new die sets that will be coming out on April 7th from the Enchanted Woods Collection. It's the Congratulations die set. It's a two piece die set, and I'm going to show you a shaker card made with this. Here you can see both of the dies cut out from a black piece of cardstock, and I am going to use my liquid glue to attach a window sheet to the back so I can get tiny dots of glue onto that intricate die cut that spells out congratulations. So there's the window sheet. I'm going to press that down and then the next step is to add some foam tape all the way around this panel. Now the top part of my panel, the hat, got really close to the edge of the paper so I had to pull out a super skinny strip of some foam tape and that's going to work really good for this shaker. You just want to make sure you have no openings so your shaker bits do not escape. I am mixing up just a mod podge of things that I already had in my stash. Sequins, seed beads, micro beads, tiny little gems, and making my own shaker element that's going to work good for this graduation card. I think doing black and gold is a good card to make if you don't know the school colors or one that you can have on hand. I know sometimes you want to make a congratulations card, but you don't have the right stamp set. You don't want to spend a lot of money on the stamp set because you don't need it very often. This is a great die set to fit that need. And I love making shaker cards, so I thought this is a perfect die to create a shaker card, but again, you don't have to. So now that I have this shaker put together with that brushed gold card stack on the back, I am going to try to highlight the letters on this with a black wink of Stella. Then um, if you get it on the window sheet, you, should, you can use a Q-tip to wipe it off, but really, you might wanna do this step before you glue it on but you know sometimes we think of things later so I actually ended up putting two coats because it dried back really light and that worked really good I'm gonna pull out some of my Trinity stamps embellishments and put some cute things in and around this card it's got a lot of kind of open space so I'm gonna take advantage of that with these gorgeous stars there's one that's like really a golden yellow and then one that's a really pale pale like almost just the touch of yellow so i'm going to use um two of those in three different spots and then i'm bringing in these stars that are like clay elements and adding those as well and i just like that cluster of three and now it's time to add a stamped sentiment i love this sentiment set it's got something for everything i'm going to stamp it on the brush cardstock so i pulled out my versafine onyx black ink and i'm going to stamp that down several times three times because I really want the ink to be dark and vibrant because I plan on using clear embossing powder to emboss with so I thought two times would do the trick and then I was like nah I need one more <laughs> so I stamped this three times and I did get a nice consistent black image on this somewhat you know, it's kind of less porous paper. The ink really sits on top. So I added my clear powder and then I'm using my heat tool to melt that down. And then I have a nice black glossy sentiment that can go on top of my card. I trimmed it with my paper trimmer and then I'm going to cut the ends. I flag cut the other end. Not sure why I didn't record that part, but <laughs> I'm going to stick this down on my card. And I don't know if you can tell, but I got a little crooked spot on that sentiment. I'm going to fix that in just a minute. But I decided I didn't want any of the gold edge to show beyond the outer black portion of this shaker. It just wasn't even and it was a really thin border. It didn't turn out how I hoped. So I cut it off and stuck it to my white card base just like this. This is an A2 size card. And you can see I added some black gems. They're the same tiny black gems that I threw in my shaker mix. And that helped me hide the little part of my sentiment banner that got crooked. So I hope you enjoyed this sneak peek at this really cool die set. There are so many cool things in this release so make sure you check it out this week during sneak peek week and then the full release will be ready for you on April 7th. So I'll see you again then for all the goodness. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Bye!